guys, I've got another one for you. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, replacing uh, the front crankshaft seal on this uh, Land Rover Discovery 2. Um, this one is a, a little tricky. Uh, I had to buy some extra tools uh, to get this done. And, uh, let's get right into it. First thing we have to do is we're going to take the shroud off uh, so we can get to this fan. Uh, we're going to take the fan completely off. Guys, to take this fan off, you need a 36 millimeter um, box in wrench. I'm going to use this big adjustable wrench I picked up. All right, guys, I'll tell you what, I had a little bit of trouble with the fan. I finally got it off. What I did was I wedged a screwdriver uh, down here in between uh, the base and one of these. Uh, bolts with the wrench on here like this and you hold it with the other hand I hit this really hard a couple times until I got it to break loose and it was on I don't think it's ever been off uh, but uh, once I got it to break loose I turned it a couple times Here's the, the nut here, and I just uh, keep turning it this way. Put your hand in between the radiator as you spin it. That way when it falls off, because it's probably going to fall off, it'll hit your arm instead of the radiator and it won't poke a hole in it. Okay, now we can see right down in there, here's where the fan is, or was. And uh, that's the bolt you got to take off down here put the seal on. Uh, now that I've got the, um, the fan off, I've got plenty of room in here and maybe even get a little gun in here and just back it out with that. Okay guys, I've got the uh, breaker bar and the socket on there and I've already loosened it. And what I've done, I've just laid it here um, against the, the firewall there and I went inside, put the key in the ignition and just bumped it twice. And when I did, I used the motor to actually break this bolt loose so I didn't have to take this radiator out again. <laughs> I saw that on um, uh, another YouTube channel, um, Scotty Kilmer. That's who it was. <laughs> Pretty cool little trick. Alright guys, watch this. It's free with my hand. I can turn it now. Okay guys, I've got it on the tensioner here. It's 15 millimeter. Uh, I'm just going to push down on it here uh, let the tension off the belt so I can uh, just pull the belt off alright guys I just uh, just unscrewed this bolt by hand and, uh, they said this wasn't pressed on and uh, they were right I just pulled on it two or three times slid right off so you don't need a puller for this one uh, it's great okay guys I don't know if you can see this good or not but here it is uh, facing the uh, crank seal I've got a special tool I'm just gonna fish up in there and uh, pull the seal out with now this is the tool here it's got like a hook on it you can just reach up in there kind of fish into it and pull it out all right guys got it out with the tool and I just Pry it in a couple times, just slid right out. <laughs> Alright guys, I've got it in there. I use this uh, big socket uh, to push up against it and push it in. Then I gave it a light tap until um, it was uh, all the way seated in there. Ready to put the uh, crankshaft uh, pulley back on. Guys, I'm uh, pretty much just reversing the steps. I've, uh, Put that uh, crankshaft pulley back on, tighten it back down, uh, put the belt back on uh, using that. Uh, now I'm going to put the fan back on, and then after that, I'll put the top back on here. To get this fan started, if you'll just put your uh, 
your hand right in front of the center, you know, in between the, it and the radiator, and just put it up there, and you can kind of spin, and it'll spin right back on. <clears throat> I've got the wrench on there. Let me give it a tap to tighten it up. That's got it. It's all back together. All right, guys. That uh, that wraps another one up. Uh, hope you like this one. Uh, if you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Got several more videos coming. I've got to get this thing road ready so it can uh, be my everyday uh, driving vehicle. Uh, again, thanks for watching.